Whew. Holy cow. Will you look at the time? It's getting late. And we got a big day today. We're supposed to be meeting the girls. We're supposed to be meeting all of our female leopard gecko breeders at Luna Geckos today. And I've just been cleaning bins. And I'm a mess. My shirt's filthy. I haven't showered. I need a shave. I can't go on The Bachelor looking like this. How are you going to meet a couple dozen girls looking like this? You know what? Welcome back to Luna Geckos. Why don't you sit tight, listen to the intro. I'm going to go clean this mess up and I'll be right back so we can show you where the girls are. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. All right, we're back. I'm all cleaned up. Got a nice shave, fixed my hair, changed my shirt. I mean, come on, we're meeting the girls today, right? Everybody that tuned in last Sunday and watched us meet the boys, I know you've been waiting for it. Today, we're gonna meet the girls. Now, there's 26 of them, so it's gonna have to go a little bit fast. So we're gonna cut out a bunch of this little chit chat and a bunch of this moving back and forth. We're just gonna get into meeting the girls. but. Here's how we want to work this thing, all right? Listen, what we're going to do is we're going to put every girl here on the center table. We're going to put their name and their contestant number on the screen. And what you have to do is you have to vote in the comments for your favorite bachelorette. And then at the end of the week, let's say before the following week's video launches, we're going to pick the contestant with the most comments and we're going to select randomly select one of those comments and you're going to win something from luna geckos and that something happens to be in here well not this exact one we'll get you one that is your size i haven't even seen this yet just came in the mail today so i'm going to open this up and we're going to take a quick look at it let me put my glasses on so just came, I have not seen this yet. I'm gonna look at it first. Oh yeah, I dig it. It's the life is better with a gecko, Luna Gecko shirt with the Luna Gecko's moon on the back. Now we're not selling these on Merch Market. This is a prototype for reptile shows. I thought it was kind of cool. But anyway, like I said, vote for your favorite bachelorette in the comments. The bachelorette with the most comments, we're gonna randomly select one of those comments next week. And the winner will get one of these. Not available for sale. And we'll get you one in your size too. And last week you got to meet Poppy. Miss Poppy Dog, she's in rare form today. She's under the table snoring away. So you're probably gonna hear her throughout this video. It's our thing here at Luna Geckos. Come on over to the table with me and let's meet the girls. All right, so before we get into meeting our first girl, just wanna let you know that these little six quart stir lights that they're in, these are not their houses. I just put them in a six quart so we can speed up the transition from the rack to the table, rack to the table. So they're only in here for a second. It's typically where we put them when we're cleaning. They'll go in here while their tub's getting cleaned out. But first girl up is Diamond. Diamond is a 2019 holdback produced here at Luna Geckos. She's a super snow eclipse. Nice. Oh, look at that tail. I just want to squeeze it. Don't squeeze their tails, by the way. It'll scare them. I just love the smiles on these super snow eclipses. Look at that sweet girl. You wanna go back home? Okay. All right, our next contestant is Blue. Blue is a super raptor. She actually came from Ben at Art Gecko few years ago. She bred last season. 
and did really well for a first time breeder. She is currently gravid, so if you see a bit of pink on her belly on her sides there, that is her first clutch of eggs from the 2021 season she is yet to lay. She is a super raptor and my favorite raptor ever is from Jurassic Park and her name was Blue. So this girl's name is Blue, even though she's kind of yellow. We're not gonna keep her out too long because she is gravid. She'll probably score some voting points for being, I was gonna say with child, but with children, with hatchling, hatchlings, eggs. I don't know how to say that. How about gravid? She's gravid. Let's put her back. All right, our next contestant is Miss TT. You heard that right, Miss TT. And her name is Miss TT because she's a Max Snow Tangerine Trimper. Get it? Tangerine Trimper. Miss TT. This will be Miss TT's second season breeding. We have her in our white and yellow Trimper project. She's not a white and yellow, but the male that she is being paired with is. She did good last season. We'll see how she does. She's a little bit on the chunky side. This girl don't miss too many mealworms. You gotta turn this way if you want votes, sweetie. All right, everybody. This is Sloane. Not really. Her name's Mandy. But she was the star of a TELUS commercial in Canada, TELUS Communications. And she played the role of Sloan in all their new print ads and TV commercials for the new iPhone 12. So this girl is actually a TV star. You see her on billboards all over the place in Canada. She's a Mandarin Tangerine. And this will be our third season breeding. She's a great breeder. Interesting though, she does take rather long between clutches. She hovers in that 18 to 21 days between clutches, but doesn't miss a clutch. Pumps them out. She's not camera shy either. She's been on TV. Now you're a YouTube star. You're a YouTube star. Yeah. All right, next up is Priscilla. Priscilla also was produced here at Luna Geckos. She is one of Mandy's babies from a few years ago. She is 100% Mandarin Tangerine, and she is uh, extremely gravid right now, so we're not going to keep her out. We're going to get her back in. She's kind of dull right now, normally very vibrant, but this is her second season breeding. She's named Priscilla because when we held her back, we also held back one of her siblings that was a male, and his name was Elvis. So as a couple, that's, they paired last year as a couple, and it was Elvis and Priscilla. We don't have Elvis anymore, and we've actually gone a different direction with these Mandarin Tangerines. Nice, big, thick, robust girl. Great breeder. Say vote for me. Can you say it? Say vote for me. Give him a wink. Ooh. Our next contestant is Dolly. 
Dolly is a white and yellow Max Snow radar. And she is extremely gravid. This will be her second clutch this season. She's been breeding. This will be her third season breeding with us. She's getting ready to drop those eggs, so we're not going to keep her out. And she probably won't open her eyes, but she has gorgeous ruby red eyes. Let me put her back real fast. And then I got a little something to show you. So not to be outdone by S Sloan or Mandy, as we call her, Dolly is also famous. Dolly is featured in Ron Tremper's new book on a little autograph from Ron and his wife, Helen. Dolly is featured right here on page 184. How about them apples? Okay. Next up is Emma. Emma is a pure, het-free blood emmerine that we got from Barry up in Utah. Only Tangs. Great breeder. We've had her for, I want to say, four years now. This will be her third season breeding. She does great. She's actually Cinco's mom. You guys remember Cinco from the prolapse videos. And Mr. Cinco goes to Beaumont. She's got this really cool tangerine and that green color in there with the dark spots. She's faded because this is her third season breeding. You'll see we have one of her daughters coming up in a little bit. And you'll see how much more vibrant they are before they breed. But that's Emma. Say vote for me. This girl, her name's Liberty. She is a tangerine tornado that we picked up right before we left Canada. We picked her up from Urban Geckos to add a little bit of different blood into a tangerine project, a couple tangerine projects that we're working on. We wanted to mix in some of this tornado blood. She could be a little feisty. She's being nice right now. That's Liberty. Tangerine Tornado. This is Mata. She is a pure Eublepharus Holland line Black Knight that we imported directly from Furry Zerman in the Netherlands about three years ago. And she has been the base female of our Pure Black Knight project. She is a robust, healthy, fertile girl, great structure. And she's named after Mata Hari, who is probably one of the most famous people from the Netherlands. Are they Dutch? I think they're Dutch. And that's actually Mata up there on the wall on those photos. This girl is Lava. She is a Lavender Bold from John Scarborough and Gecko Boa. She bred last season, and her son, we showed you last week in Meet the Boys, Sasanta, if you remember, Italian for 60. 
He's a holdback that we'll be pairing back to her to see if we can reproduce that highlight yellow color that showed up in Sasanta and one of one of the other hatchlings from last year. She does almost look lavender. It's really. She was a lot brighter um, when we first got her. Obviously, she bred last season, dulled out a little bit, but she's still a very pretty girl. That's lava. This is Verdi. So remember when we had Emma out a couple of geckos ago, and I said that Emma has faded out a lot since she became a breeder. This is one of Emma's babies. This is a pure blood emmerine. And you can see how much brighter she is. Her tangerines and her greens, almost kind of a, a yellowy green in there. A lot brighter than her mom because this girl was a 2020 baby that is a holdback that has not bred yet. Uh, this girl is Mia. Mia is a Blood Emmerine Mandarin Tangerine Cross. It's part of our Mandarin Emmerine project. And she is gravid. She laid a clutch of duds a couple weeks ago, so she's pretty due for a new clutch. Now this girl is the female that Mr. Cinco was with when he had his unfortunate prolapse. So we're really hoping, since Mr. Cinco's sidelined now, we're really hoping that this next clutch that's gonna pop out is fertile. And he got the job done before he had his prolapse. But this line, this line of Mandarin tangerines, even the blood emmerines, but mixing these two together, is producing some very robust geckos. Really thick, healthy, long, great weights, quality animals. That's Mia. This girl is Citrine. She is a white and yellow tremper. She's got a little bit of shed right there. She's not gonna let me get it, but we'll see. She is a 2020 holdback from Mr. Mello, one of Mr. Mello's projects. Actually, she's got a good bit of shed on her back right here. We'll have to help her get that off tomorrow if she doesn't have it. Oh, we're gonna lose her. She was just paired um, about a week, 10 days ago, and I'm seeing a little hint on the side here, so I think she might be gravid. That'd be good news. She's named after the gem, and it was a uh, suggestion from one of our Instagram followers. You know when you have so many geckos, names get tough. So a lot of times we'll reach out to the Instagram, the Instagram f folks and ask for some help. I think they named her well. Let's put you back so you can get the rest of that shed off you. Oh, this is one of my favorites from 2020. This is Molly. She is a pure John Scarborough line firewater. We produced her last season, and you saw last week on Meet the Boys, you saw Oscar, who was also a 2020 holdback. Oscar and Molly. We're gonna, she's certainly size-wise ready to go. We're gonna wait another month. We're gonna pair them up in March and continue producing some of these beautiful pure fire waters. Look at that animal. She's spectacular. Now, she's named Molly because she's a fire water, and so I wanted to name her after a famous female firefighter and I came up with Molly Williams. Molly Williams was 
not only the first female, but the first black female firefighter in New York City. Google it. You learned something today. This is Sunshine. She's a white and yellow tremper. Look at the high sides on that girl. She was actually supposed to be a boy. She was incubated for male, but turned out female. So she's very vibrant, great colors. Excited to pair her up. She'll be paired up in March. Just waiting one more month for her. But that's sunshine. She certainly does not want to be out. Pretty girl. Excited to see what she produces. So a few contestants ago, you met Mia. And like I said, when you have so many, names get hard. This is Mia's sister. And her name is Mia too. Like not Mia also, Mia and the number two. She is an offspring from the Mandarin and Marine project where we're crossing the Mandarin tangerines into the blood emmerines. Very pretty girl. She's holding that funky tangerine pattern with that green background, some cool dark spots. She has not been bred yet. She is warming up. We'll have her in pretty soon, probably March, April. We'll pair her up. This is Amarillo. And I am so excited about this girl. She is a white and yellow bell albino. We picked her up from John Scarborough because we want to add some fresh blood into our bell projects. And man, she's gorgeous. I'm excited. Woo, baby and she can jump. She's been eating like a pig, growing like a champ. She's still a little bit young, so we're waiting. She has not been paired up yet. We're gonna get her paired up pretty soon. I think she's on the docket for April. But Amarillo, very, very excited about what comes out of this girl. Look at that tangerine with that yellow. Gorgeous bell. What a gorgeous example of a bell albino. Such a pretty girl. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go back. We'll leave you alone. Oh, you're a barker too. This is Rhonda. Rhonda's a super tangelo. And she's named Rhonda after Ron Tremper. She'll be breeding for the first time this season also part of a couple tangerine projects that we're working to put some different blood mixes in. We have some Golden Gate blood now. We have this Super Tangelo blood. We have that Tangerine Tornado blood. Mandarin Emmerines. Mandarin Tangerines. Blood Emmerines. We're making a nice recipe for some cool tangerines. That's Rhonda. If she's your favorite, vote for her. This girl, this is a pure Turkmenicus. Her name is Boa because she came from Gecko Boa. We like to keep a pure Turkmenicus line. We use them for outcrossings, use them for other projects, test breeding. Great wild type species. 
solid example of what this animal would look like if you actually stumbled across them in the Middle East. No other genes in here. This is a het free, pure wild type species, subspecies. All right, this contestant is a late entry. This is a Bell radar that was supposed to be a male, but turned out to be a female. So we decided to hold her back and drop her into a Bell breeding project this year. And she does not have a name yet. Her name for this contest is H71. Maybe in the comments, if you vote for H71, you can help this little girl have a name. She has not been paired yet. She was kind of a late hatch from the 2020 season. So we're just waiting on her to grow a little bit more. And we're gonna throw her into a bell project this season. The girl with no name, so sad. This is Betty. Betty's one of Mata's babies from 2020. And actually Betty has already bred this season and we already have two clutches out of her. She is a pure Eublepharus Holland line black knight. Her parents were both imported directly from the Netherlands. And she produced our first leopard gecko eggs of the 2021 season. That's Betty. The next girl up is Gemma. Gemma is a pure het free gem snow that we are going to be using to do a Black Knight project with. She's named Gemma. I mean, obviously she's a Gem Snow, but that's not why she's named Gemma. She's named after one of my favorite characters from Sons of Anarchy. Peg Bundy. No, that wasn't her name. That was her name in another show. This is Gemma. Tell him to vote for you. Gem snows are awesome. Love working with the gem snow because you you can mix them into stuff, mix them together, and you won't get the super form that you will out of the max snow. Now don't get me wrong, I love max snows too. We work with a ton of max snows. Our next contestant on the Luna Bachelor is Rain. Rain's a white and yellow rainwater albino. And she's got a funky, cool paradox spot on her neck right there. We just paired her up about a week or two ago. Not seeing anything in her belly, but hopefully she's got something cooking. Trying to add a little white and yellow into our rainwater projects. That's her job this season. All that and just looking cute. You like rain? Vote for her by commenting and make sure you say rain. This is Onyx. Onyx is also one of Mata's babies from last season. So she's a 2020 holdback how dark that head is. She's so pretty. She's a pure black knight. She's a little bit bigger than Betty, but she's younger than Betty, so we're holding off another month or so before we pair her up. But she will be part of, 
she will go into the breeding group as part of the continuation of the pure black knight project oh sorry sweetie that's a little water spot on our back if you see a little shine there i see a little water droplet on her back but her head is so dark onyx everybody all right, this girl is a, tw look how big she is already. This is a 2020 holdback, Max Snow, Black Knight, Visual Eclipse. She's a little bit crazy, so that's why she's in her tub right now. She's not a biter or anything, but she's not a big fan of being touched or held. She'll run, she'll bark. She hatched on August 4th of 2020, and she is so big already. I'll see if I can get her. Her name is Luna because she is the cornerstone. She is the cornerstone of a project that we've been working on for a few years now, which is the Super Snow, ooh, almost lost her. The Super Snow Black Knight, or the Super Snow Eclipse Black Knight project. We've produced a lot of Black Knight Super Snows over the last couple seasons, but their parents, or at least one of the parents in that project, has always been head eclipse. And then when we produce the super snows, we're not 100% sure if they're head eclipse or visual eclipse. So now for this season, finally, we have a breeding group that Luna is a part of. We have a breeding group that is Max Snow, Black Knight, visual eclipse. So we know for a fact now for 2021, every one of those Super Snow Eclipse Black Knights that we produce. See, I told you she's a runner. Every one of those Super Snow Black Knight Eclipses that we produce this season will for sure be an Eclipse and not Head Eclipse. We put her back. She thought she was a Crested Gecko for a minute. This is Sherry. Sherry is a Max Snow Black Knight and I don't know what it is with these Black Knights, Max Snow, Eclipse, they get a little cranky. And I may not have said it, but she is a visual Eclipse. You can see the little marker on her nose. She's got the white nose. I don't know that we're gonna get an eye shot on, on her. And I think I said her name was Sherry. Her name is Cherry. And the significance of that is she's gonna be paired up with a boy that you met last week. His name is Pony Boy. He's named after Pony, Pony Boy Curtis from one of my favorite movies, The Outsiders. And if you read the book, The Outsiders, Cherry was, was a love interest of Pony Boy Curtis. That's why she's named after Cherry. We're going to put her back now because she is not a fan of YouTube. She's generally just not a fan of being held. You hear her barking? Let's see if I can get her to bark. Nah, now nah, she's not going to do it. We're going to put her home. Hey, dog. So that's it. You met the girls. Luna Geckos, 2021 breeder females. Hope you enjoyed it. Get your pig. Get your pig. Pop. Pop. Come here. Ah. You met this one last week. You can't vote for her. She doesn't count. You didn't like that? No? That's Miss Poppy Dog. We're almost done, baby. And then we'll feed you. Because you look like you're malnourished. So don't forget, in the comments, you pick your favorite female, your favorite bachelorette. You know what we're going to do? 
we're gonna put comments in with every contestant, their number and their name, and then you comment underneath each one of those contestants, and that string for each contestant will, will count as a vote for that particular bachelorette. Remember, we're gonna take the number one vote getter, hence comment getter, that will be the bachelorette for 2021 Luna Geckos. And after we have all those comments, we're gonna randomly pick one of the comments from the winner and that comment giver is gonna get one of these brand new Luna Gecko shirts. These aren't for sale. These are just for us. And if you want one of your own, lunageckos.shop, that's where this one's from. Well, this is nice and soft too. I like his shirt. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. I know this was a long one, but we had to meet all the girls, right? Don't forget, if you like this video, please like it, please subscribe, share it, and above all, this week, make sure you comment so we can vote and figure out who the 2021 Luna Gecko's Bachelorette is. Until next week, be safe. Thanks a lot. Ciao. It sound right, boy.